Hey guys, back in the garage again today. I know I said I wanted to uh, video putting on the new track bar, the adjustable track bar that I got from uh, Duff Enterprises or Duff 4x4. Anyway, uh, I didn't get to video that. The weather's been really bad. It's been really windy and the audio just wasn't coming out. And uh, adjusting this thing um, was a little bit more complicated uh, than the videos made it look to be so anyway i've got the track bar on i've got it adjusted the uh, axle is pretty much centered back underneath the truck it was off about probably about three quarters of an inch so um, we got that put back on um, right now i have my drag link down um, that's one of the other reasons why i didn't do it i couldn't break the ball joint loose even though it's brand new um to take the drag link off to center it and it ended up throwing my steering wheel off um, when I you know because when you pull it the axle every everything's connected and it's throwing all the geometry off and guess what I don't know geometry so um, I had to grab a, uh, a kit to uh, break that off and I'm also pulling off my pitman arm which I believe uh, the see if I can get a picture of it here this right here um, is is kind of uh, wallered out it's a little too big uh, and it's old so the actual tie rod uh, the, the drag link was sticking too far in and I think it was actually causing some binding so I'm gonna swap this out today I got a pitman arm puller um, I won't be able to video it because I don't have a tripod um, small enough to get down here and probably my head will be right in the middle of me doing everything. But, uh, I did get the adjustable track bar in, which is very nice. Uh, like I said in my other video, I did not choose the heim joint at the one end. Um, I just went with the bushings, which is fine for my application. I'm not rock crawling or doing any super duty stuff. And, you know, it's just something you can always change later on down the road if you decide to. So... The adjustable tie rod in and drag link, if you saw my earlier videos, those are from Wild Horses 4x4. I really like this setup. This is the three-way adjustable, um, which is nice. Now I've got to go back and adjust this. And uh, after I put my pitman arm and everything, center up my steering wheel, um, this will also give me the ability um, to measure how many turns it is to go left and how many turns it is to go right, and then center everything up there as well. Um, I watched a couple of different videos on how to do this adjustable track bar. Um, the Wild Horses guy uh, has the down and dirty version. Um, he just throws a strap around the wheel and throws it up over the frame and uh, then pulls the axle whichever way it needs to be pulled. I used a level on the outside of the wheel and tire um, to measure off of the frame. Um, got the measurements exactly the same, right about uh, 23, I think 23 inches uh, for my application on both sides. Um, I've seen it done differently. There's been a couple of other videos that show you how to center it, but they don't go into uh, into depth. I, I didn't look at all the videos. So um, one of these days, it's like I said, since I don't know front end geometry and all this stuff, and I haven't been able to find a local... 4x4 shop that has some good guys in here that really know front-end geometry. That is going to be my goal down the road, is finding a local uh, 4x4 shop somewhere within 100 miles of me because there's really nothing local. Find these guys. Find these guys that really know how to do the front ends and have them go through and readjust everything and line everything up. I'm getting all the basic adjustments done um, as close as possible. I did take it down to a local shop and I had the toe set um, off the tie rod end. So I know my wheels and my toe is set correctly. Um, it's just all the other geometry that's going to need to be dialed in uh, if it doesn't uh, handle correctly on the road. So that's where we're at today. Just kind of a short video. Like I said, I could try to video this, but my head would probably be in the way while I'm trying to pull the pitman arm and I don't have a lot of room in here because I'm in my garage, it's kind of storming outside, the wind is blowing like a, you know, 20, 30 miles an hour, and it's just making a giant mess of everything, so 
we're going to leave it at that. That's what I'm doing today. Uh, if you guys have any uh, genius ideas of how to do this with a tape measure and some shoestring and bubble gum, hey, let me know. Otherwise, like I said, just going to get all the basic adjustments down uh, as best I can and then try to find somebody that actually knows what they're doing to go back through and fine-tune everything for me at a later date. That'll do it for today, guys. Um, not much more going on right this minute. But if something else comes up, I'll let you know. Later. All right, guys. We're going to do a little addendum to our front-end video. Trying to pull my Pitman arm off. I ended up having to do some relief cutting to get this thing to separate. I bought this kit off of uh, Amazon. Pitman arm puller and a ball joint separator. And let me tell you, it doesn't work. Not on a Ford Bronco. This does not fit. This does not fit. Doesn't fit your Pitman arm. That doesn't fit your Pitman arm. I tried this little bastard right here. Broke the tip off. And stripped the crap out of the threads. I had uh, sprayed this down with WD-40 and rust penetrant, uh, let it sit for a couple of days, came back to it. Um, still ended up looking up a video where a guy made relief cuts, ended up making the relief cuts and uh, breaking off a really nice screwdriver trying to use as a wedge. So there you go. Old Pitman arm is off, new Pitman arm is on, doing my adjustments, but... You know, don't bother wasting your 40 or $50 on this kit right here. Because um, it's just not worth it. And it's not going to work. I should have looked up a specific Pitman arm puller for a Bronco. And uh, that was my mistake. So, just a word to the wise. No bueno.